Hi, this is Ben. I work at Tech Impact. So today we are actually going to be looking at how you can use SharePoint Online to add some intranet functionality. The easiest place to start is on the home page of any of your sites. One thing that you should definitely do going into this is just think through some of the functionality that you know the people who you work with are going to want to have here. So what resources are important to them? What do they need to do or have access to in their day-to-day -day job? So we have our homepage here on our demo site. And we have a, a news feed that comes with pretty much every site that you create. So it's a way that you can have some quick conversations with folks on this page. For my organization, we haven't found this to be hugely useful. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this act. And it's really quick and easy. It's just going to confirm that I do actually want to do that. I also know that I probably am going to need a little bit more room than what I have here right now. That was part of the planning that we did before is how do we want things to be laid out, thinking about what resources we're going to be putting on here, having just this one space in the middle here and a little sidebar probably is not going to be enough for all of the content that I want to be displaying here. So I have some options on the text layout, which is these gray squares um, or rectangles rather that I have here. So I can change that up and I can do anything from just a single column, just one giant column, all the way up to something as crazy as three columns with a header and a footer. So I'm just going to do two columns with header and footer. And so up here at the top, my team uh, does a lot of photography. We have a lot of marketing resources that we might be putting into picture or to documents. We also, you know, work with our clients to get good pictures for their profiles, creating resumes for them. So we want that picture library to be on here so that they can just very easily get those pictures and incorporate them into documents or other material right from that library. So I have my cursor up at the top here and I'm just adding an app part. So this is gonna be kind of a widget of that picture library that I already have on my site with all of our, our pictures in there. So here that is, and this is actually just a bunch of screenshots and I can actually change the view of this. I want it to be a little bigger, a little more focused. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this and just change the view to be in a slideshow view. And we'll go ahead and apply that change. So now that I have that set up, I can close out my little editing area there and I have an arrow up at the top that I can use to scroll through the different slides that I have here. Aside from my pictures, we have a lot of deadlines that we're keeping track of when proposals have to be in, when profiles have to be complete. So I want to make sure that all everyone on my team is able to see what those events are, what those deadlines are that are coming up as soon as they get to our site. So I'm going to go ahead and add a calendar app part here as well. Um, um, but once they're on there and you have, so from here I can add events right to this calendar and then people will be able to see those there. Then maybe we have a lot of external resources, different journal articles that we need to reference or an HR portal that I need to go fill out a timesheet in. I want people to be able to very easily get to all of those external resources right from here because this is our home base, our internet site. So I'm going to create an app part for links these test links that we have here. And when I do that, I actually already have a link in there. So if I just click right on that, I'll save my changes. So there's my link library. There's my calendar that I can manage and show folks. Or you can actually add multiple pages. So I can create a whole new page on this site that's going to give me all of that same flexibility. But it's going to start me from scratch. So I'll just have a nice blank page here. And I can really build this out again. So the, those are the different ways that you can set up these pages to have some more value to really provide useful and relevant resources and information for your team of people who you're working with who are going to be accessing this site. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.